The sunflowers dance in the summer breeze, bring the sunlight to its knees. The picnic basket speaks to my growling hunger. And this hamburger I ate isn't agreeing with my stomach. Ugh. Today is Wordplay Wednesday, and I am not very good at writing poems. But don't fear, because I am not here to teach you how to poem. Instead, today we are talking about personification. But you probably already know that by reading the video title, so... Moving on. Personification is a figure of speech where you apply human qualities and characteristics to non-human entities. This painting really speaks to me. Obviously, the painting isn't actually talking to you, but the emotions that you feel while looking at specific paintings feels as if they're speaking to you and drawing you in. The smell of the popcorn stand caught my attention. Smells aren't even a physical thing, so the ability to catch something isn't in this universe's field of physics. Science. Love is blind. This implies that the emotion, love, has the ability of sight to actually be broken. I mean, how can you be blind if you don't have eyes to begin with? The moon watches over us at night. Some people claim that there is actually a face on the moon. I've never actually seen it, but even if it is, it doesn't literally watch us at night. I mean, that's Edward Cullen's job, am I right? <laughs> Opportunity is knocking at your door. Unless your friend's name is Opportunity, because then that, that would actually make legitimate sense. Other completely random uses of personification include... Oh man, time is flying. Oh, I have to write this manuscript. It's calling my name. I found this present at the store and it totally screamed your name. A common expression of personification that people use is when they give their cars gender pronouns. Obviously cars don't have a preference when it comes to gender. I like to think my car is a sassy woman. A caller Carmen. Personification is a method that brings inanimate things to life. PUN! In a way that we understand it the best. Personification is that literary device that can jump onto your page and really make even the craziest of things relatable and stand out. William Shakespeare personifies Earth by giving it the ability to swallow when he wrote The Earth hath swallowed all of my hopes in Romeo and Juliet. A well-known child's poem gives dishes and cutlery an escape to run away from their crazy friends. And the dish ran away with the spoon. The amazing poet Emily Dickinson brought personification into her poem, There's a Certain Slant of Light, to show the imagery of the sun's cast on her surroundings with, When it comes, the landscape listens. Shadows hold their breath. Personification is just one of the many ways to play around with words and make your writing really stand out. Don't forget to tune in this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for what I believe is going to be one of the most important live chats that the Word Nerds have ever had. We'll be talking about internet security and how to keep yourself safe while still connecting with people all around the world. I'll see you on Sunday. Hey Penn, why don't you dance across this paper while I write this scene? <coughs> Boom, personified. Hey to-do list, why don't you check yourself before you wreck yourself? Boom, personified. I think that's more of a pun than personification. Hey, outro, why don't you swagger on in here and drop the beat? Boom, personified.